Talking trash about the Crosstown rival football team is nothing new, but taking that talk to the internet can now mean trouble for teens. With over 73% of 13 to 19 year olds using social networking websites, a few simple keystrokes can now make private thoughts public. And, in an effort to protect athletes and their image, many professional sports organizations, and even colleges and universities, are putting policies in place to monitor what players post. The University of South Carolina currently pays several thousand dollars a year to a social media monitoring software company that alerts coaches whenever athletes use a word that could be considered embarrassing to the school. The athletic staff also has access to all the athletes' photos and videos. The trend to pay closer attention to online posts is now trickling down to athletes at the high school level. All my dancers have to friend me on Facebook and that everything they put on their Facebook page must be age appropriate and cannot reflect badly on the dance team in or themselves in any way, shape, or form. The dance team of Fort Mill High School isn't the only team that has a social media policy. The Fort Mill High School cheerleading team also implements a policy that monitors the cheerleaders' posts on social media. The policy on the team for the cheerleaders is that they cannot be talking bad about girls on the squad over so social media, whether it be on Facebook or Twitter. Um, and they are not allowed to talk about other teams in the area or any teams in general. With these policies, a problem is created. The question is, do these policies restrict freedom of speech? There are many past court cases concerning free speech, such as one from Coons High School in Texas in which a group of cheerleaders were banned from bringing banners that had religious statements on them to football games. Jenny Holman, an attorney at Sedoma Law, clarifies the gray areas concerning free speech. In terms of where the First Amendment comes in, it's whether or not your posting on social media would negatively impact someone. While some of the athletes at Fort Mill High School are monitored, the coaches do not ask students for their passwords. And in order to avoid problems, they try to provide alternatives for the students to speak their minds. They should be able to talk to someone else about it that will get the problem resolved. While courts have made some decisions concerning free speech, there are still many gray areas that keep those decisions from being uniform to all situations. So far, coaches and students agree that the policy is fair, but the implementation of uniform guidelines may cause problems for the school district in the future. For PBS Student Reporting Labs, I'm Mason Stroll.